يا ايها النبي انا ارسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا الى الله باذنه وسراجا منيرا السلام عليكم ورحمه الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم i begin in the name of allah the most merciful the especially merciful how was the prophet muhammad peace be upon him with his wives and this is a topic that many people have misconceptions about. Many people may believe that he was an oppressive person to his wives and he would beat them and maybe even kill them or whatever the case may be. But when you ask his wives, they say something completely different. And I will share with you some of the stories that they share. And firstly, I would like to begin with a verse in the Quran or a part of a verse in the Qur'an, chapter 4, verse 36, where Allah refers to the wives of the men as the companion that is by your side. And this is something very profound. And we realize this companionship when we look at the life of the Prophet with his wives. Let's look at his relationship with his first wife, Khadija, who he married when he was 25 years old and she was 40 years old. It was said that when he first received revelation, he came running to his wife, Khadija. And when he entered the house, he told her, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me. Imagine the relationship he had. He had it was such you know, a close companionship and he had such love and he had care for her. He had closeness to her that when he was afraid, when he was in a state of shock, he would run to his wife. And this was not out of weakness. Many people may misunderstand this to think this is out of weakness, but in reality, he was the bravest of people. Ali would say that when we were in battle and things would start to get heated, we would go to the Prophet to seek protection because of his bravery and his strength. But despite this bravery, he still had such a connection with his wives and such a beautiful relationship that he would run to her and tell her, cover me, when he was afraid. And Aisha radiallahu anha, she says herself, who she is his wife, she says the one that lived with him for many, many years, she says he never put his hands on a woman. He never hit a woman. And he also says, the best amongst you are those that are best in treating their wives. And indeed, I am the best in treating my wives. Imagine he is telling you, do you want to be the best person? The best of you are the ones that are best to their wives, the ones that take care of them, the ones that provide for them, the ones that are there for them when they need them. The wives of the Prophet, they would say, when he would exit for the dawn prayer, he would stay after he finished the prayer and people would come ask him question. And immediately after, he would go and visit every single one of his wives and converse with them, see how they're doing. And they said the same thing about after the, you know, the afternoon prayer. So in the morning he would be with them, but as well during the day he would be with them. Before he would exit to go pray, he would go and kiss and hug his wives and show affection to them. And remind them you know, throughout the day that indeed he loves them. And Aisha say that when he would conclude the Asr prayer, the afternoon prayer, he would come back to her and kiss her and hug her once again. And Aisha herself, she also says something very beautiful. She says that when I would drink from a cup and then I would pass the cup to the Prophet, the Prophet would look at where my, the marks of my lips are and he would drink from that same spot. And when I would take a bite from food, he would take a bite from that same area because he had such an intimate and close companionship, a very beautiful relationship with his wives, despite what people may try to say. I ask Allah to grant us understanding and to guide us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Ya ayyuha nabiyu inna arsalna ka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadheeran wa da'iyan ila Allahi bi-idhnihi wa sirajan munira.